So let's have a short intro to a short video. Today we will look at a very strange dinosaur that existed in the Cretaceous period. We'll look at its habitat, its evolutionary lineage, why its cousins are so different from it, and what's more shocking is the kind of dinosaur a Therizinosaurus is. I bet many of you already know, uh, but for the ones that don't, let's look at this creature in detail and describe whether the Jurassic World Dominion version is scientifically correct or not. So let's get to it. The first remains of the Therizinosaurus was found in 1948 by a Mongolian field expedition at the Gobi Desert in Mongolia. The Therizinosaurus was a large dinosaur, although not as large as the sauropods or the big carnivores like the T-Rex, the Giganotosaurus, the Spinosaurus. It's still a pretty big dino nonetheless. There have been various size and weight estimates over the years since its discovery. These animals obtain enormous sizes estimated to be around 9 to 10 meters or 30 to 33 feet long, uh, with weights from 3 tons to possibly over 5 tons. And they also stand almost upright, with its head being 15 to 16 feet above the ground. So when and where did it exist in the past? As we said earlier, the first specimen was unearthed in Mongolia in 1948, but it was only studied and properly classified as a species on its own six years later in 1954. This creature lived in Asia during the late Cretaceous period in what is now the Nemec Formation around 70 million years ago. This geological formation is primarily in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia. So being from that age in that place, it would have been around many large predators with the main enemy of it being the Tarbosaurus Batar, a close cousin of the T-Rex of North America. So what kind of dinosaur is it really? Well, in the BBC documentary Planet Dinosaur, it was stated to be a cousin of the Tyrannosaurus, but a lot of time has passed since that, and it is now placed in a separate superfamily, which is the Therizinosauridae. It is, although a theropod dinosaur, but the only relation it had to the T-Rex was that it was a coelosaur. Although being a theropod, it wasn't a carnivore, and over the millions of years, this creature developed and evolved traits that made it more suitable to be a plant eater, a herbivore, it had a long neck similar to the Triassic Plateosaurus. It had also a beak-like mouth, but with a blunt and slightly serrated teeth, which confirmed that it was in fact a herbivore. So what is its characteristic feature that really stands out? Well, it could flip the ultimate bird if it was angry. The Therizinosaurus had huge arms that could grow to be around 8 feet long or 2.4 meters, and on the tip of its hands are three huge claws with the largest estimates putting them, the claws, at over 5 feet long or 1.5 meters. But that's an overstatement, the largest they could grow to would be less than 1 meter or 3 feet long, but that's still terrifying. These large claws are mainly for defense and foraging. They could be used to hook and pull down branches as they forage, and they could also be used to swipe at predators for protection against mainly the Tarbosaurus and other carnivores, and maybe for fights over mates and territory. So one question that many of you might have is if it was a theropod dancer, then why did it change from being a predator into a plant eater, essentially a prey? This is something of a mystery, but just as many species evolve over time to become something way different, the same could be said about this dinosaur. Its ancestors would have probably been carnivorous theropods, but somewhere down the line, a series of distinct mutations occurred that made a certain population of these ancestral therizinosaurs into omnivores and being able to digest plants and meat at the same time. This might have made them more successful in thriving and populating the environment around them. And then over millions of years, they gradually lost their predatory traits and the ones with herbivore characteristics dominated and became the species Therizinosaurus chiloniformis. But that's still a theory. Now let's have a comparison between the Jurassic World Dominion version and the real life version of this dinosaur. Well, the Dominion version has a size of 5 to 6 meters in height, which means around 16 to 20 feet tall, a length of 9 to 12 meters or 30 to 40 feet long, and a weight of 6 tons. The real life version, on the other hand, is slightly smaller, standing at 4 to 5 meters or 13 to 16 feet uh, tall, a length of 9 to 10 meters or 30 to 33 feet long, and a weight of between 3 to 5 tons. So, as we can see, the Jurassic World version is bigger, but not by much. Most of the other traits, however, are identical, 
such as being covered in sparse feathers, having a beak-like mouth with teeth and a long neck, as well as being territorial and a herbivore and having those huge ass claws. So yeah, that's all good. Fun fact before we end this, the Therizinosaurus was subject to a lot of confusion as to how it looked like. It was originally thought to be a marine turtle, but with the discovery of the Nothronychus, a related species, its appearance was settled. Then later, it was said to be a cousin of the T-Rex, a Tyrannosaur, but we now know that its only connection to the Tyrant Lizard King, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, was that they were both Chelosaurs. A subgroup of theropod dinosaurs that include the Comsognathids, the Tyrannosaurs, the Automimosaurs, and the Maniraptorans. Anyway, with that, we come to the end of it, so do hit that like button for support and subscribe to be a part of the MindQ family. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.